All right, talk to me about the cutter. When did that happen? Your success in 96, people kind of think the cutter was there forever. No, there was no, no cutter no, in 96. No, no. So when did the cutter come about? Well, the cutter came the following year. It became the closer. Did you think you were ready? I didn't know, Michael. I only knew that I, I will have to do exactly what I did, pitch in the eighth inning. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work. You know, I was pushing myself to the point that everything was going backwards. The first month of April, I was blowing three safe already. I think three out of six. Yeah, yeah. amazing. But then the quarter came. It just happened, throwing yes. with it. It wasn't coincidence, it's the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. I was playing catch with Ramiro Mendoza in the outfield, yes, normal. Uh, the same routine, the always the stretching, running, and then we start throwing all the pitchers. All of a sudden, the ball start moving. Moving, Michael, that I was trying to stop the ball from moving. And now Ramiro is mad at me because he thought that I was, I was messing around. I said, no, man, I just catch the ball because I had no clue where the ball was going right now. Right. You know, I'm imagine. So and if I was petrified, the male was even worse. Girardi is like fighting with me because, I mean, uh, he don't know where the ball was going. You know, it's ridiculous. Tom, we went, can you give me a ball, please? Nice, gosh, Michael. I, and you didn't hold it any different? I didn't, this was my four-seam fastball. Okay. To many pitchers, this is their four-seam fastball. Okay. And this is, was for me also until 1997. I threw the ball like this, and now the ball started cutting. But now I throw the ball like this, I change the grip like this. Right. Mel said, Moran, well, change it like this. Like this, and this ball, it shouldn't cut at all. And this ball was cutting even more. Even after you changed even it? Even after I changed the seam, the So grip the of pitch the ball. that made you great, they all were afraid of it, and they wanted it to stop. They wanted to, oh, yeah, because we had no control of it. Wow. But thank God for Geraldi that he was there like a champ. And still, sometimes I just try to throw over the plate. And the ball just moved to the corner. <laughs> amazing. So amazing that that year you had 43 saves, a 1.880 ERA. You make your first All-Star game. Um, you also get the save. Uh, and you help the Yankees get to the postseason. And you play the Indians. And then Sandy Alomar Jr. hits a home run off you. Mm -hmm. What was that like? That was in game well, four. He tied the game with the home run. We went to a training. We lost the game. We lost the following, the following uh, game, and we out of the series. All right, but for me, it was just a learning process again. You know, I never take situations like that, uh, like uh, something that will drive me down. If I throw that pitch again over and over, he will never hit that pitch. I learned that uh, if I'm going to throw the ball in the corner, the ball had to get to the corner. Well, you learned your lesson because after that, you didn't allow a postseason home run for four years. Yes. And we faced it in the following year. 